It is one of the most important principles. So it literally says, and we know now from neuroscience, that what you pay attention to grows. So whatever it is that you are focusing on. So if you are focusing on what you don't want in your life or in a situation, that is what you will grow. So as appreciative coaches, we have very much a life-giving or generative approach to change. So we're looking to help people ignite at a deeper level, a more substantial level. So we do not use a problem solving approach, which would be looking first at the problem. Because we know if you look at the problem, then you're gonna grow the problem. So one of the basic things we do as a part of appreciative coaching from the very beginning is help frame when the client comes to us with, a, and they usually come with a problem situation, right? Something they need to, they want to fix. Even if, if they want to, it's a growth and development opportunity to coach, they still come with some feelings or, or thoughts about how they need to improve. So we immediately shift their language from the problem to what it is they would like to have. For example, I have a client who um, is a president of an economic development organization and she was concerned about her relationship with her board of directors. So she came and she said, I, I just feel inadequate. Um, I, I feel like they micromanage me and I don't know how to stand you know, my own and be able to work effectively with them. So then we framed the coaching focus and picture of success on her being able to build and deepen her own capacity, her own confidence level, et cetera. So that became the focus of the coaching. Any movement to help people change at a deeper level is really a lot about beliefs. So we know that beliefs, there are some scientists who believe that human beings operate or show what their true beliefs are 100% of the time, which is amazing. And of course, we all hold conflicting beliefs. And the deeper the belief, the older the belief, uh, the more unconscious it can be. So with appreciative coaching, you can really detect when people have disconnects between their the different kinds of beliefs that they have, like they show up and they say, I really want to engage my employees. So I'm a manager or I'm a business owner. And then you ask them to say a little bit about that. And then they begin talking. So you can detect from the language that they use and the pattern in which they say it, they don't talk about their employees in a positive manner, but in a negative manner. So that is one way. So there's really four different ways you can help people identify these hidden beliefs, because you can't go at them directly. So one is the language they use, the feelings they have, their actions and behaviors, and the results that they create. So you can really go you know, from any of those four directions and help um, clients move forward.